it's not just working for me, like it's a, it's a lifestyle, it's a hobby. And that whole thing together, it's a, my life, I would say. Oh, my child, I know you hurt and you can't let go. I'm not like a normal sports store. People go in, rent the skis, go out again. It's more like a meeting point. You don't have to come in and think I have to buy something. When traveling, I see these sport shops having coffee bar, having some cakes, and I really love that. I'm a one-man show, I work myself, sometimes I'm busy, so I made a coffee room. People come for a coffee, have a small talk, stopping me working, what is perfect sometimes, I can't work all the time. It's kind of a lifestyle, you, you're getting in, having a good time, meet people, go out skiing. I would say I was always, since I'm here, the same. I never really changed from the idea of what I'm doing. Maybe you can say old school. I came up as a ski teacher at Engelberg because I did ski acrobatic in my old days. And the idea was to come to Engelberg to get more trainings. And yeah, so I ended up as a ski teacher. And because of going out drinking after working, I started to prepare skis at a friend's place in a ski store and fall in love with the ski preparing. And then I get stuck in Ingenberg. It changed for sure. It's more buildings, it's more shops, uh, it's a new cable car. But the mentality of the village and the people are still the same. That makes Ingleburg so nice because you feel home if you're a skier. That's kind of how like people are today, like always buy new stuff. Uh, after two years, I need a new ski. But still, I think you can use the stuff like much longer. And if something breaks, you don't throw it away. I do have people coming in with uh, damages like you definitely don't fix. I see it another way. It's a challenge to fix it. Not that I want to do it every day because it's too much work behind. That's a hobby in my job, like it's super interesting to say, wow, that's complete broken, I can fix it. Give me a week, I might lucky, I can do it. If not, we're gonna try it on the next key. It'll be all right. And when the whole thing is over, I take my heating plates off and the ski is perfect. That's like, uh, Sunday for me. That's just a good feeling. I would say I start working in October to prepare opening in November. Until middle end of April, I just work every day. Just get stuck with skiing because I did it my whole life. And I love it. And I will love it forever, I think. But don't give up.